Right, this is video three on the Chaos Pad. I'm going to have a little bit of a play about now, totally unscripted. We're going to play about with putting some beats into the sampler. Um, now I'm not especially good at this, so this is uh, just a, a show of how to do things as opposed to my creative talents. Uh, but here we go. First thing, we need some drum beats. So I'm going to choose drum beat number two, which is the beatbox drum beat. I'm going to use these two. And to make it a little bit easier for myself, I'm going to use the whole button. Now normally, when we add samples into these sample banks, we click the sampling button, click one of these, uh, before we click we can actually choose how many bars we want to sample. I'm going to go for eights at the moment. Um, and when we click that it will start recording from the input. However, I'll hold shift button, press the shift button, sorry, to cancel. If we hold the shift button and choose sampling, we can actually sample what the chaos pad is doing itself. So that's what I'm going <clears> to <throat> show you now, hopefully. I just need to get a little bit of practice at what I'm going to do. Oops. So that's kind of my plan to start with. A little bit of a um, <clears throat> varied drum beat there. Okay, let's see if we can do it. Remember, we want to hold shift button to get the sampling. And we're going to choose a bank. Okay, that's a very simple one. And you'll notice that I let go of the whole button as soon as it stopped sampling. Uh, the, <clears throat> you saw the lights go across here, it's counting the uh, beats and uh, when it gets to here it's going to finish the sample and instantly start playing what it sampled. So we didn't want the effect and the sample playing at the same time. So uh, let's try that again, only this time we're going to try uh, with a little bit more of a varied sample. Didn't quite get it. Ooh. And that's what, what happens when you get it wrong, when you get your timing slightly wrong. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, I think that's pretty cool. Now obviously you can sample different drum beats and actually then be able to cycle between them. Um, what I want to do now though is to show you how to add effects to that and sample that. So if we get back up to some, some, uh, some loops and we'll show you what it sounds like first. This effect will actually chop the sample up and replay a little bit to it. Let's see if we can get a slightly different timing. See, I'm not very good at this. So 
supposed to be uh, affecting just the low part of the, uh, of the beats. Now we're going to sample this into a different bank. And you see we've now got a different sample into sample bank B. Back to sample A, and it's what it was before. Now I'm going to move to the effects previously, which does a similar thing, only can affect the highs, mids, and lows. to find a, um, a nice little finger swoop that sounds good. I haven't found it yet. I might have something. So you can see we've gone from a very simple beat here and I'm wondering if I've actually affected the wrong part of that beat because uh, while doing the sampling over here I've managed to cover up one of the more interesting bits of the beat but never mind. So hopefully that uh, gives a kind of example as to the kind of things you can do without any music even playing. Until the next video then.